Ladies and gentlemen, as a child, do you remember saying, when I grow up, I want to be an astronaut, a doctor, a teacher. When I grow up, I want to change the world for the better. We all hope and dream of the possibilities of the future when we are young. And with Star Trek, we continue to believe that the future will be a better place. Since 1966, Star Trek has offered us a vision of the future that provides hope to a world plagued with wars, pollution, poverty and disease. Star Trek is more desirable as we all want to go boldly into a bright future. Before I summarize my team's case, I will point out the many flaws in the opposition's case. The first speaker of the opposition said that Star Wars is fun and that kids want to dress up as characters from this franchise and act out this fantasy. Of course kids want to act as their characters from Star Wars, as Star Wars is for kids. It's simple, it's repetitive, it's fun. Even its creator, George Lucas, said he made Star Wars for kids. You need only look at Jar Jar Binks to realize this. It was made for kids. Yet adult fans got upset when its creator introduced a character that spoke childish. At least we could understand him. Kids are easily entertained and that's why it appeals to them. Star Trek entertains and educates and that's why it is better. The second speaker of the opposition said that Star Wars offers words of wisdom to the Jedi Master Yoda. Have you heard Yoda speak? All his words are out of order. What kind of role model is he to children if you cannot utter a sentence correctly? If you want words of wisdom, you need look no further than Spock. Live long and prosper. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And insufficient facts always invite danger. It's the insufficient facts that the opposition has declined to acknowledge in this debate that could invite the danger of believing that Star Wars is better than Star Trek. Look to the wisdom of our pointy-eared friend Spock and not the pointy-eared puppet for your guidance. Huh? Let's look at Star Wars since it has been acquired by Disney, a new trilogy that borrowed so many elements from the original trilogy. The standalone movies, Rogue One and Solo, that also rely heavily on the original trilogy and the series, The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi that all rely on the original trilogy. It is fair to say that beyond the original trilogy, Star Wars has offered us nothing new. Now when you compare this to Star Trek, you will see a galaxy of differences. Star Trek has pushed the boundaries of what is possible for humankind and taught us respect. Respect of others' cultures, values and beliefs. Respect for people who are different to us, whether in looks or personality. And respect for ourselves, that each one of us has something to offer our world. But above all, Star Trek has offered us hope that the future of the world is not doomed, but exciting. It addresses issues by asking, what if? What if the world worked together for peace? What if we valued knowledge over money and fame? What if each person had the opportunity to reach their potential regardless of class, race or religion? By working together and embracing new ideas, we can make a positive difference to our world and for future generations. Our first speaker today explained the origins of Star Trek on television in 1966. He explained how the crew of the Enterprise was comprised of people from several different nations and one alien, all working together to explore strange new worlds and seek out new life forms while exploring the possibilities of humankind. He also explained how each episode addressed issues that concern our world such as racism, sexism, the role of technology, loyalty and class warfare. It was groundbreaking television that continues to inspire and explore today. Our second speaker today explained how the science fiction of Star Trek became science fact. Inventions and innovations such as the mobile phone, flat screen television, voice recognition, Google Translate and Bluetooth wireless 
are all innovations that began in the matter of writing and inspired scientists and engineers to make reality. In doing so, Star Trek inspired people. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no question that like Star Trek, Star Wars has had a huge impact on our world. Today's debate came down to the word better, which the opposition interpreted as desirable. When it comes down to it, what is more desirable? Living in a fantasy land set a long time ago, or being part of a future that is creative and exciting? Ladies and gentlemen, there is only one logical conclusion to be made from today's debate, and that is Star Wars is not better than Star Trek. Star Trek is more desirable as we all want to go boldly into a bright future. Thank you. Come to a conclusion, the debate has. Time to decide the winner, you must. Consider both arguments when deciding the victor. Informative, persuasive, a team effort. These are the attributes of a good debate. Comment below who the winner is, you can. Fair and balanced, your reasoning should be. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper.